Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, I do upload new videos every Wednesday, sometimes Friday, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those notifications or anything new. Okay, so I wanna do some summer outfit ideas and kind of a range from casual to things that, things that you can wear to work. I had intended on doing like 10, but it's 95 plus degrees here today and I shot five outfits outside. It's really warm outside, so I didn't get to all 10 but I am doing five so hopefully this will give you some ideas and don't forget that when you do subscribe to my newsletter if you haven't already I um, send you a free lookbook with more outfit ideas so if you're really looking for outfit ideas you can um, subscribe to the newsletter to get that lookbook you can go to my website and look at the outfit ideas page um, and then also I'm gonna give you some right now so Hopefully, <laughs> you'll be all set for summer after those three things. Okay, so the first look I wanna show you is something like super casual that you would wear for a chilly summer evening. I mean, if you live anywhere other than where I live, you do have chilly summer evenings. Um, where I grew up, there were a lot of chilly summer evenings. Where I'm going for the summer, for the next year, there are a lot of summer evenings that are chilly. So um, basically just a chambray shirt, button down chambray, shirt and white jeans. The brand of the chambray shirt is a brand that I've talked about before. It's called Rails. I love their shirts because they are so soft. They make a lot of chambray and they make a lot of plaid shirts. So I have both. And these are a little bit on the pricier side. I can usually find them on sale. Um, but again, what makes them so terrific is the fabric, how soft it is, how you just really feel like you're wrapping yourself in a little blanket. And it also is cut so that it's a little bit more feminine than a really oversized chambray or button down shirt. And the jeans are by Topshop. These are the Topshop Jamie jeans. You may recall me talking about those. They're some of my favorites. They're always under 100. They do run a little small, so you wanna size up. And um, the, you can usually select inseam too, which I think is great. So if you're on the taller side, you're probably gonna wanna do a 32 inch inseam. I do a 30 inch inseam, and they also have a 28. So depending on your height, I'm 5'4", you can do the, the 28, the 30, or the 32 inch inseam. Um, but the 30 works great for me, and I don't, I don't need to hem it at all. So I like that, you know, it's really nice. I can buy the jeans, I know they're gonna fit, I know they're high rise, I know that I don't have to have hem them, I know they're not gonna break the bank, so it's just good all around. And I like this pair because it has a little slit at the bottom, which is really cute. And then these are just some little flat espadrilles that I got recently by Mark Fisher. I'm a real big fan of Mark Fisher shoes, they're super comfortable. Um, only thing is these shoes are really narrow, so if you have a wider foot, I wouldn't even, don't even do it, like they're way too narrow. I have a skinny foot, I have bunions, but I have a really skinny foot, so it actually works really well for my foot. Plus it covers my bunions, which I like. <laughs> bunions are just bones, people. It's not that gross. <laughs> okay, so look number two I really am excited about sharing. I think this dress is one of those dresses that everybody's going to enjoy. Um, it's really fitted through the top and your upper stomach, and then it's more empire waist, so it is um, the waist does cheat up from your natural waist and then the skirt is flared. It does have pockets But what makes it so nice is the fabric. It's a really um, it's a blend. It's definitely got some spandex It's like a jersey spandex blend um, the uh, the uh, the blend is so lightweight but yet it feels um, thick enough where it doesn't show every lump and bump, which is nice, but it's also great for layering. So you can easily put a little light leather jacket or a light tweed jacket, like, like a nice white sweater over it or nice white leather jacket over it or a nice white um, blazer over it. So you have options with this dress. If you like, you could wear stuff underneath it. You could, you know, maybe a little white tee underneath would be really fresh and cute. Um, but you could always layer over it. Like it's a perfect dress to layer things over. And I like the length, I like the midi length because then you're not showing a lot. You're covered up, you feel like you're conservative enough, but you're st it's still like sexy and pretty. So uh, just a great piece, great piece for summer. Um, this leather jacket is fairly new. I think you guys may remember me talking about it in the favorites video, it's by Joie. It recently went on sale, that's when I scooped it up. I bought the extra small, which is unusual. Usually I do the small, um, but it's that super buttery soft lambskin leather. 
and it's just divine. It's like a divine coat, <laughs> divine jacket. Um, and then the shoes, you I know you've seen them a bunch, if, especially if you uh, subscribe to the blog. They are also Mark Fisher, also an espadrille, and a nude color, so it blends in with your legs, makes you look longer, taller, leaner, meaner, you know, the whole deal. So that is look number two. Look number three is this really sweet dress that I found um, on a site called Pixie Market. I've ordered a couple of things from there, but I haven't ordered much, um, simply because returns are not that easy, so just proceed with caution if you order. Um, also, the sizing is very limited, so I've been hesitant to order because I can't like offer up a lot of sizes that don't exist. Um, they usually only have smalls and mediums. I don't know why that is. So anyway, I couldn't resist this dress. I thought it was so, 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 so cute. Like just such a, it's like a dress that you would have seen Audrey Hepburn in or um, um, Jackie O in. It's just like so just lovely. I just, I think it's so pretty and I love the puff sleeve and I love the big oversized buttons and I like the fabric. Um, it is a little bit on the shorter side, which I can kind of get away with because I'm shorter, but if you're taller, it's probably going to be too short. Uh, and I will say that the two buttons between, you know, the button right at the bust does gape a little bit. So you'd have to wear a cami or something underneath it so that people couldn't see your bra or just put some double-sided tape between those two buttons. But I would just do a cami, it's easier than you don't have to worry at all. Um, so yeah, I think it's a really sweet dress for the office. I would wear it to church, I'd wear it to a christening, I'd wear it to a party. Um, it's just really cute and really, um, it's just like so retro and fun. I like it and elegant. So that's look number three. Look number four features some mom shorts. What are mom shorts, you ask? They are these incredibly high rise jean shorts. I am doing a blog coming up about mom jeans and how this is a big trend now, but this is kind of a preview of what a mom jean looks like. So it's just basically that super long um, rise and um, very fitted at the waist and then a little bit baggier in the hip. That's the mom jean. That's the mom short. So I just paired the mom shorts. I wanted to make them look prettier, not tougher. So I paired them with this sleeveless um, eyelet top that you may remember from my anthropology try on and um, a pair of mules, peep toe mules, open toe mules from Macy's that I have featured before. I love these shoes. I can't say enough good things about these shoes. They're so pretty, so feminine, so comfortable, and just a fun shoe. So um, I just wanted to like step it up a little bit, but you could easily wear just flat sandals or sandals and totally dress it down, wear a t-shirt, tuck the t-shirt in, um, do the waist belt with the t-shirt, a white t-shirt, gray t-shirt, you know, you could really um, totally change this look by just changing out the top and the shoes. But um, just wanted to show you a jean short look that um, I think would be good to wear on hot days when you want to look pulled together, but you also need to be cool. And last but not least is a little black dress. I am planning on living in little black dresses this summer. I did that last summer. I really love a easy breezy effortless black dress in the summer. Um, the great thing is all you need to do is add one or two accessories to the black dress and you are finished. So for this black dress, um, which is by a line that is only on Amazon by the way, and I will put a link to that below. I'll put a link to everything below. Um, I just put it, I put a, a black and white fedora with it. So I think a hat, you know, it's one of those things that we don't bust it out that often, but it's a piece that can definitely totally transform your look and go from eh to really elevated and cool and um, and stylish. So just I wanted to show you this outfit just to show you and to remind you about the hat, the power of the hat, the summer hat. So definitely if you don't already have a summer hat, get a summer hat. It's not going to break the bank. You can find them for $40 and under and it's just a great accessory. Add it to, you know, add, you can add it to a black dress, you can add it to a white dress, you could add, a, you know, you could add it to a maxi dress, you could add it to shorts and a tee, shorts and a blouse. Um, you you can add it to your swimwear and your cover-up. Um, it's just a great 
fun accessory to have. And what did I pair that with? Oh, and then just, again, some mules. So mules, obviously, um, mules are another big shoe trend. And um, for summer, I would look at a mule that does have that peep toe or that open toe so that your, you know, you don't, your feet don't get hot and sweaty. So I just wanted to show you a range of looks. I think a lot of those you can wear to the office. All but the jean short look, you can really wear to the office. And, um, but you can also wear them, you know, during the day running errands or, you know, take them and wear them to the party at night. So I think there's a lot of versatility there with the looks as well. Um, anyway, so let me know if you have any questions. I will put everything below in the description box like I always do. And yeah, that's it guys, those five outfit ideas. Remember, don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter so you do get that lookbook. I just changed it all around so there's some fresh looks in there. And also you can go to the website and look at the outfit ideas page if you want some more inspiration. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.